Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Mark Nadirinkowski and I'm now working for the environmental consulting company Natura Pacific based on the Gold Coast. And I was awarded my PhD by Griffith University in their winter graduation ceremony in 2016 and this is my story of how I came to be here. So why Griffith? Well, Griffith for me had a very important role to play in that it has a very international focus, allowing people from all over the world to come and study in this magnificent campus on one of their five magnificent campuses in southeast Queensland. It also offers a very broad range of environmental subjects from ecotourism to sustainable development and this allowed me to hone in on what really fascinated me for throughout my PhD. I ended up studying in the end uh, the impacts of tourism and recreational infrastructure on threatened plant communities across Australia. Now alongside my, my supervisor Professor Catherine Pickering I was able to travel to some amazing places both in Australia and overseas as part of this project and this was all facilitated by some exceptional scholarship programs that Griffith offers for international students studying from overseas. I was also really delighted to know that throughout compiling my PhD I could submit it as a series of published and unpublished papers and this really imp impressed me because then I could send my information and the data that I collected and that was novel to the world out into the academic workplace so that people could make use of it. And finally I loved the, pe the, the people that I worked with. The staff at Griffith are very engaging, very human in their approach to the academic world and really excel in trying to ensure that you get the best experience out of your PhD journey. Now what did my research produce? Well, um, I actually managed to produce nine published papers plus um, some magazine articles, conference abstracts and book chapters. And along with Catherine Pickering, I also managed to submit an app and produce an app that was available for free for people in South East Queensland to use, looking at different plants available on our campuses and how to grow them. And also the impact I've had ongoing, long term, has been quite profound. Some of the papers I produced have been able to have now managed to um, be used in writing conservation policies and species recovery programs for ecosystems in the Australian Alps. And some of the papers that I published in Queensland are now being used in local national parks. Uh, the international focus of the PhD was quite profound as well, being able to travel across, the sea, um, across overseas to Sweden and Estonia and working in poorly studied areas of the tourism industry using this international um, teamwork that I'd made in these international trips. And it increased the awareness of trails and impacts of infrastructure by tourism and recreation on threatened species and ecosystems in Australia that are struggling from other impacts such as climate change and the spread of invasive species. Now, what am I doing? Well, I've been lucky enough to be sponsored and I've remained in Australia as a permanent resident working for the Gold Coast uh, Environmental Consulting Service Natura Pacific, which is a social enterprise um, doing charity by doing trade, running a consulting firm as well as education firm and allowing me to fulfil both my consulting and my academic role, but also to put a lot of good um, will into teaching young people about how important the environment is and how important it is we look after it. To date we've taught at over 180 schools and up to a quarter of a million children since 2005 with this project. I'm also expanding my uh, expertise now into um, Turkey where I'm working with a local group of charities to set up my own work with re young refugees doing stuff over there. And I've managed to enjoy my experience spreading my wings in Australia and the process of doing so has allowed me to really expand overseas as well. And some really fun facts about what we've managed to do since um, start of in, starting my PhD. Some of the work I've done has, has ensured the conservation and the long-term health of 22,000 hectares of land for conservation, both overseas and in this country. We've managed to do field work in some stunning environments in Australia, um, in New South Wales and South Australia. I've also presented at conferences in Sweden and Estonia overseas and I've made, managed to make it to online media sources such as The Conversation and into magazines such as Wildlife Australia. And I've taught many children and undergrad students um, such as myself at one point um, about the impact of our, our life on Earth and what we should be doing to preserve the species that we live with in our communities and in Australia. And overall Griffith has allowed me to, prov it's provided me with education for a global understanding of how the natural and human world is changing 
and has empowered me with the confidence to get out there and be remarkable in doing something about it.